I don't know what I'm doing here. Welcome here. Who are you? <laughs> I think we're three random monkeys still. <laughs> still. Well, I'm, I'm Bill. Dana. That's Dana. Yeah. What are we looking at today? Today we're looking at a music man, John Petrucci. The, the guitarist thing is, from Dream Theater? Yeah. He's, his, not, he's not here, is he? Hey, John. Oh, you meant his signature model guitar. Yes. Ah. The, the uh, Ernie Ball music man. Okay. John Petrucci, J.P. XI or JP11 um, six string signature guitar. Made in America. Um, first thing, spec wise, you know, it's a, it's a very versatile guitar. It's, uh, it, we'll, we'll get into the output jacks and the, and the pickup conversa conversation. Combinations the pickup here. Pickup conversation. So, anyhow, it is a alder body. Alder body. Maple top, not that you can see it because it's got an opaque paint job. Um, it has a mahogany tone block in there because we all know about tone woods, right? So, you know, John Petrucci obviously has to know something about Oh, yeah, tone Dream woods. Theater. Right. Yeah! Uh, it has Paezo? Paezo. 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 With your pizza. Paezo. From Milano, huh? Yes. Uh, saddles, Fishman, uh, Paezo saddles. It has a pair of DiMarzio um, magnetic humbuckers, and we've got a liquefier in the neck and a crunch, lo crunch lab in the back. Um, John prefers to have the bar magnet flipped around, so this is actually, this pickup is 180 from the way that DiMarzio advertises it. Hmm. Um, that's, some, that's some very particular ears. He should know. Because we also know that the pickups make a huge amount of difference in your tone. They do. No, I'm, uh, yeah, contrary to, to popular YouTube logic, the, the, this, this is a very particular set of woods and pickups and even pickup positions and stuff. Um, it's a mahogany neck with an ebony fingerboard, uh, medium jumbo stainless steel frets. Uh, it's got a slim, I mean, it's a thin neck and it's slim so it, it's it's tiny. So you could shred all day on that. You can shred all day on that. I mean, if you watch if you watch John Petrucci, he plays effortlessly, unlike me who plays effortfully. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't deserve a, a to play somebody's signature guitar, but even though I've got a few of them, but hey, what do I know? So the uh, it has two output put jacks. You can run one single quarter inch TS cable like any other guitar cable into um, you know whatever you're doing in fact that's what we did in the intro is I've got this is the if I play a clean fender amp um, that's the piezo it would sound obviously it'll sound different if you run it through a uh, you know a, an acoustic style preamp a Fishman preamp or something like that or a, uh, an acoustic amp clean or a you know rolling jazz chorus or whatever but anyhow it's definitely you know it, it, it's definitely different than magnetic pickups and uh, then bridge. Neck, Paizo, 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 
Um, <coughs> but it has two two output jacks. You can run you can run your the piezo separately on a, a different cable to something else so that your you know your front of house or whatever is is can can control the uh, the clean acoustic style guitar sound and then you can have the other output jack going to your effects pedal chain and into your amp and, and all everything like you expect so it can be uh, it can be controlled differently these uh, this guitar was originally made I think back in 2011 which might be the XI Roman numeral 11 um, yeah. on this one and I've had it I've had it for for uh, many 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 years but it has between these uh, two pickup selector switches, you can have the piezo, you know, the neck pickup, the bridge pickup, the piezo on, the piezo off, the piezo only. You know, you can combine them all together. It's got a volume for the magnetic pickups, a tone for the magnetic pickups, and then a master volume for the piezo. So does the piezo, can that come through just the regular quarter inch like you got it hooked up now? That's how I've got it hooked up now, okay. and that's how it's coming through. Yep. Okay. And you don't have to, yeah, you don't have to stereo it, but you... So you could have a crunchy tone and then dial in some clean piezo on the top just to add some articulation or something, right? Well, here's, yeah, so if we were to... So here's just the bridge pickup. Here's the bridge pickup with the piezo included. You can hear more string definition, so there's some... But you couldn't like you a little couldn't bit of quack. There's you couldn't mix it though. Uh, if you had ran the two separate, you could do it. But you couldn't do it just on the guitar. Well, there is a volume for each. There's volume for each. So, so you I could, could mix I could it. roll. I could roll. You'd be able to hear it. I think you'd be able to hear it better on. In fact, it sounds clean. Let's see, neck neck position, including the piezo. That definitely adds. So it's it's adding some sparkle. But splitting up the signal and doing whatever post-processing you want on them, you know, especially in a, a recording studio, um, that would be magnificent because then you, the sky's the limit and you can mix as much and, or as little as you want into, into what you're doing. But it's a fast, it's a fast guitar. Um, it's, oh, it's, I think it's got a 20-inch radius. It is flat, 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 flat. Mm -hmm. So you can bend. For days. Bend for days. There you have it. It is the Ernie Man, Ernie Man, Bali Jr. <laughs> the Bali Jr. <laughs> so what's something like that cost? I think this was like 2400 bucks, 2500 bucks back in 2011. So it's probably 32 now, huh? Well, the pr they're, yeah, we could look them up on the screen behind me. Um, but they're, they're still expensive. Oh, it's, the yeah, used it's not a cheap on reverb, guitar. These used ones on reverb are, you know, still going for, oh, you know, well over $2,000. So they're... They're a uh, ah shaller shaller locking tuners um, on this little tiny headstock, little bitty headstock. But yeah, it's a cool guitar. It very, looks cool. Very slick. I mean, it'd be better if it was like red, but we'll go with black. It only comes in this in this. Well, uh, it's, a, black it's a signature sparkle. model. Yeah, black sparkle. I don't know if you can. Can we see it? I can't see it from here. Yeah. Can you guys see it? I don't know. We're trying. We're getting the we're getting the ring light, the ring light there. reflection. But yeah. Anyhow, uh, like this video, subscribe to our channel, comment, share it, and uh, let people know. Yeah, let them know about us because we <laughs> we're sad, <laughs> pathetic old men. We are. Make us happy. Yes. Happy, pathetic pity. old men. Pity. <laughs> pity. Thumbs up. Until next time. I'm Dana.
I'm Bill. And take it easy.